We are here fishing today. <laughs> that this is going to be a little unique. Do you want to say where we are? Yeah, absolutely. We're at Two Rivers State Park. We're here to catch trout today. They have a trout pond and they stock it intentionally for families and friends to get out and catch trout. So that's what we're doing today. And it's open to the public, I should say, but it's a great opportunity to bring friends and family and young kids out. 100% hatchery fish. These are fish that are put here with the idea that you purchase a trout tag for the right to fish this lake. You're allowed to keep four fish per tag. And the concept for the video is we're gonna use four different techniques to get our four fish. We're not gonna pick one that works really good and just rip through and get our four. I wanna show you that there are many ways to catch these fish. They are not overly Only four. <laughs> Only four ways. The unique situation about today is with the coronavirus going on, which we don't wanna make this whole channel about that, but with that happening, their office is closed. So if anyone comes out here, especially in early morning or late evening and you don't see any staff, there is an envelope box. You just put your money in the envelope and drop it in the door. It's different than what you've done in the years past. That's all you do. So we each bought one tag. One tag entitled us to how many trout? Four trout. Four trout, and you can get up to three tags. So that equals how many trout? A dozen. Twelve. Now, if you remember, your state limit in Nebraska is only five. This is the only exception to having more trout, is this program. Yep, and they have a record that you, that you bought those tags, so they know that you're fishing here. They have a record of it. You're supposed to check the fish in at the end of day, but obviously with coronavirus situation, uh, that is not something that we will be able to do at the end of day is check those fish in. But normally that would be the, the procedure. And if they go back to their regular uh, rules, that, that'll apply later in the season. So that's what we're doing. Let us give a whirl. You can see the lake is behind us. Here we go. trimmed. A couple things we brought today because we're trout fishing. One, a towel. Even if it's just a little washcloth, very important to have. Two, corn. Three, a banana. Four, my MEPS number two spinner. And power bait, trout bait. We'll see if any of those can get the job done. Does it look like it's facing like what I what I'm doing here? Um, can you see it through the screen? Stand up and look straight at the horizon. It's yeah, I'd, I'd say. Should I angle much. it down? If you want to like see more what your hands are doing, yeah, you'd have to lower. Can you it see more. my hands now? Um, I can't see the screen now. Look back the way you were looking. I just took my glasses off. Um, Fishing. I can move angle it higher. down. Move your hands higher. Yeah, they're, they're, I can see your hands now. Not now. Not now. So I'll like adjust but, this. Wouldn't I want it a little lower? With that. Uh, your head's bent down so I can't see what's on the screen. I'm sure. Okay. Um, I'm sure it works. There's a trout. I'm, I'm sure it works. We'll try one more spinning fish and we'll move on to the next strategy to catch these fish. Let me know if you're just gonna walk that direction, right? Okay. So, so I don't hook you in the ear. I mean, I'm not going to promise you that people won't get mad at you. People can get mad at you for all kinds of stuff. You were supposed to warn me when you walked over there. Oh, yeah. oh I got bumped. Option number two. Split shot, hook, corn. Corn in hand. Chum corn, catch fish.
there's one. Kind of got a mess of weed there. Got a bunch of moss with that. I did get into a pretty good batch of weed. Some little far marks on him. Not bad. Cool looking. Not sure if that focused or not. Got one on the spinner I'm trying to spoon now. Couldn't see myself, but hopefully I was on camera. A little nicer colored trout there. Spoon. Still digging me down in the weeds when, when you fight them. They, they're wrapping up. I got some shallow shoreline here and they're getting me in the weeds, but pretty fish. Number two, gotta change again. We're walking, we're, we're covering a little water. Normally when I come out here, I'm not filming and I'll get out, get a rod, just walk and check and walk and check and cover water. A little tougher to do when you got a tripod and a camera and everything and pretty good number of people out here too but we did decide to do a little walk and then got to a new spot a little activity in the water got one pretty much right away a little spinner spoon we're gonna try a, we're gonna try a little crankbait see what that'll do for us that got his spinner fish right off the bat now he's on the bait trail trying to get one on some corn, which is an effective technique, um, even out here, but it's not doing much today, unfortunately. Suspending my crankbait, I was gonna change crankbaits, and I thought, you know what? Let's give the little crappie jig a try quick. See if we can't knock the third one and then we can deal with the crankbait for the fourth. Hopefully on camera, but jigged one up. This guy's really got the markings. He dark, dark spots. Very cool. I um, I don't know if that's in focus or not. He's not a monster. Really nice markings. Um, a little fat, but that didn't. That jig fish did not take long to get done. So now we're back to the old crankbait. I do have a jigging Rapala, which would be another option, but we'll, we'll see where we go. So I was having issues casting, and it was because my split shot was just sitting in between here and it was just wrapping around my bobber and my corn was ending up above my bobber and I couldn't tell if it was even in the water. So I took the split shot off. Had a couple bites trying to get them. Just now got a lure out. Um, and he's a little, he is a little dude. That is a snap bean. I doubt you can focus that close, but he ain't very big. And I probably won't be able to throw him very far. So it might not work. But we're gonna give it a shot before we move on to another option. Because they will bite these if I can get it out there. A little snap bean's a good bait. It's just doesn't weigh very much. Ouch. Those hooks are sharp. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, God darn it. Didn't get him pinned. He cracked it though. Not really digging the straight retrieve. Gotta put a little motion. Gotta put a little funk in your junk to get this. These trout to hit these cranks. Straight retrieving it didn't do much for me. Both times I just got absolutely smacked. Oh, he tried it. I keep getting hit on this crank, but I can't hook him up. Tons of bites on corn, and then I put powder bait on, I couldn't get any bites. Are you done? I was kind of wrapping it up. Yeah, it's almost dark. Are you talking to me? I'm not. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> 